Hello, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy. I appreciate you watching today. Today we are taking a look at a collective reading for Sagittarius season. What can you expect in Sagittarius season? What changes are coming? What are you leaving behind? Whatever spirit has for you. So it is going to be collective for Sagittarius season. All right, let's just go ahead and get started. If this resonates for you, I would love for you to subscribe and join my community here on YouTube. If you are seeing this at a later date than Sagittarius season, then take it for the month that you are in, okay? So just look four weeks out from where you are viewing this reading and take it for that time, okay? All right, and only watch it, only claim it if it is for you, if it resonates for you. So I have the High Priestess and the Three of Swords. I have the energy of the Eight of Cups and I have the Five of Pentacles. Wow, so I feel like your intuition has been telling you to let go of something that is just not working for you. And I feel like you are, if this is resonating for you, so this could be in love, this could be a job, this could be in, you know, just life in general. Maybe even putting up boundaries between you and other family members or people in your life that are just sort of draining your energy. Because I feel an energy of draining, I feel an energy of lack, I feel an energy of being feeling like you're on the wrong side of the door, you're on the wrong side of life, you're just on in this energy of... We're in this cycle where things just don't seem to be working no matter what you do. And it's like something's got to change here. <clears throat> something's got to change. Could be communication. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Weird. So I feel like your intuition is telling you what is hurting you, what is frustrating you, what is not working. No matter what you do, it's like it's time for you to walk away. It's time for you to let let something go. It's time for you to literally turn your back, take your energy, and walk away. So this could be in a relationship. This could be, like I said, in a job. This could be in life. Just whatever it is that you're focused on, that you're in your head about, whatever it is that is frustrating you, that is hurting you, that is leaving you feeling like, like it is just never going to work. It is never, never going to get off the ground. It is never happening. You've been working on this for a long time. So whoever this resonates for, this has been a long time coming. And this is something that you that has repeatedly hurt you, repeatedly frustrated you, repeatedly make, made you feel like less than or made you feel like um, abandoned or left out or in lack in some sort of lack so I feel like this is something that you this could be a creative project this could be a relationship this could be you receiving less than in your work maybe you have been maybe your intuition has been telling you to change jobs go look for a different job go look for something new that will actually pay you what you're worth and get you out of this energy of lack and feeling frustrated and pressure there's pressure here. So I feel like you're going to resonate exactly with exactly what it is for you. When you hear these words, your intuition is telling you to let go of something. So you may need to let go of a situation. You may, may need to let go of a person. You may need to let go of fear. Because say that you are, you're just feeling the pressure, the financial pressure. We're going to focus on the finances for right now. Say you are feeling the financial pressure, you are just not making enough money, or you are doing, <clears throat> maybe you're doing the work of three different people and you're only barely even getting paid for yourself. You know what I mean? It's like you're putting in all this energy, all this effort, all this emotion. You're pouring in your energy into something that is just not giving to you. It's really not giving to you. <clears throat> and your intuition has been loud and clear telling you to let go of fear of stepping forward, fear of letting go, fear of walking away. Maybe you feel maybe you fear walking away because you don't know what's on the other side. Maybe you fear trying to find a new job because you feel less than somehow. 
because of what's happened to you that maybe you feel like you won't get another job so you haven't bothered to look yet but your intuition is screaming at you there's something here that is just not giving to you and no matter how hard you work no matter how much effort and time you put into it it is not giving you anything but frustration hurt challenges stress anxiety but also a lack an energy of lack lack of love lack of effort lack of payment whatever it is you're feeling like this is something that is you have been putting time and energy and you have been trying to get it to expand or to move forward or whatever the case is and it's getting you nowhere so you'll know who I, what I'm talking about here because your intuition is pretty loud and clear and there's something that you're needing to let go of and pull back your energy okay when something is just repeatedly not working out there's a reason and it's okay sometimes you need to know that it's okay to walk away it's okay to let let it go it's okay to go find something better this is you guy or girl doesn't matter the energy is you turning your back fully and walking away towards your son towards your happiness towards your nine of cups your wish fulfillment something that feels better than this where you're at right now does not feel good there is no reason for you to keep putting in your time your energy your focus your emotions pouring into something that is not feeding you at all so I feel like this is definitely not feeding you at all it could feed you very little but for the majority of you what I'm feeling here is that you are literally feeling like you're getting nothing out of it and it is time it's like way past time for you to walk away and you may just need to hear that it is okay to let something go you may need to hear that what is on the other side of this is your wish fulfillment and you won't find that until you let go you know so you you may need to hear that it is time for you to let it go and it's all right and you're gonna be okay because sometimes what we need to let go of is the fear that's holding us back because it's the fear of the unknown it's the fear of failure it's the fear of success even it's the fear that holds us back and your cards your intuition this is going to be confirmation for you that your intuition has been screaming at you to let go of what's been holding you back it's time for this change and it's a very important change for you meaning this is a big lesson for you <clears throat> That you've had to learn a lesson in letting go of fear a lesson in letting go of what is not working and a lesson to know that when you do that you have great blessing on the other side my friend great blessing it is your wish fulfillment you're gonna walk right into your wish fulfillment see how this person is walking into the Sun this is the eight of cups the nine of cups is wish fulfillment you need to turn your back fully though no looking back no holding on no saying well i'll wait until something else comes and then i'll let go it doesn't work that way you've got to walk away you've got to be willing to turn your back and walk away and you are walking right into your wish fulfillment also this is the sun the sun is you're happy 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 the sun is the happiest card of the deck the sun is your big fat yes this is what you want but you're holding on to something that is not giving you what you want and you're afraid to let it go but your cards are saying and your intuition is screaming loud and clear it is time to turn your back and walk away and go find your son because it is there and this is the time this is the time your wish fulfillment is calling you so let's pull a spread and let's see what you need to know about your Sagittarius season because I feel like coming into Sagittarius season you're letting go of something you're finally finding the power to let it go you're finally letting go of that fear you're finally turning your back and walking away and deciding I'm gonna go after what is for me so let's go let's go ahead and see what is for you in Sagittarius season something that has been a long time coming something that ha you've been waiting for 
change, some sort of success that you've been waiting for? Let me tell you what, my friend. All right, here is just another confirmation of you turning your back and walking away, letting the cycle close. It is time for the cycle to close. It's been time for the cycle to close, and now it's time for you to receive your wish for fulfillment. In turning your back and walking away fully, pulling back your energy, not giving to this anymore. Now, if this is a job situation and you need to find a new job before you walk away from the old job, I am definitely not saying to let go of your old job before you find a new job. I'm saying make the decision, turn your back, and go after it. Go after it. Find a new job. Start applying. Start start applying to the new. Giving your energy to the new. Stay in the old, you know, and do your thing. You know, go through the motions. Make your money that you need to make, but put out all of your time and your energy and your effort beyond that into the new, trying to find the new, okay? Now, if this is a relationship, yeah, turning your back and walking away is needed here. But look at what is on the other side. Look at what is on the other side. I've got the star. This is healing. This is you being connected to that light, which brings you your wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment right here. Your prayers being answered your prayers being heard first and answered, your prayers are always answered. But you have wish fulfillment here. You have what is soul aligned to you. What are you waiting for? You've got a soul alignment here. You've got success, promotion, recognition, success here. It is on the other side of you letting go of this, whatever it is that you need to let go of. What is on the other side is your wish fulfillment and it's fast moving energy, very positive, fast moving energy, recognition and, you know, promotion here. It's bigger and better than what you're used to. Promotion means bigger and better. <laughs> the lovers, if this is a, a relationship, you've got your soul person on the other side. And you may have thought that this person you, you were with was your soulmate. It may have been a soulmate at one time, but it now the cards are showing me that it is not a good, healthy situation. It is not giving you what you want. And so on the other side of walking away and letting go, you have your soulmate, your perfect soul alignment. Now, if this is not love, this is a soul alignment that is for you, whether it is money, whether it is peace, whether it is a new career, whatever it is, it's a soul alignment for you. It's, it's your yes. It's your uh, wish fulfillment. It's going to answer all your prayers. You know, so often we feel we're stuck in a situation and we're just not happy and we want change and we're crying out to the universe. We're crying out to God. We're praying. I want this. And the universe is like responds with your your intuition right your intuition says okay let go of what you've got let go and walk away and you're like no but i want this and the universe is like okay but you gotta let go and you gotta walk away and you fight it or we you know i'm looking at a general sense so often this is how this is how we are we think that our prayers are not being answered, but our intuition is loud and clear saying, okay, we got to let go. We got to let go. We got to make this change. We got to walk away. We got to go in a new direction and we fight it. And we think that the universe is not answering our prayers, but it is. The universe is answering our prayers. We have got to make some steps too. We have to take, look, this person here, is literally turning their back and, and taking steps. You've got to take some steps to let go of what is not working in order to go in the direction of what is. Even if you can't see it, you've got to take the steps to close the old cycle, to let go of that fear and take that step of faith in the direction that you want to go. And if you don't know where that is, you do know it's out, out of where you are. That is the right direction, right? 
and then the universe responds and brings you exactly what you want. You just can't see it yet because there's some action steps that you've got to take first to close the old cycle. And then you see your prayers answered and your alignment coming in and your very fast moving success that you've been waiting for suddenly shows up. You've been waiting for a long time and you might have had to heal for a while from some hurts and some of that frustration. But what's coming in is much bigger and better and more than what you think. So when you get to that other side and you see what this is, you're going to be like, wow, what was I waiting for? What took me so long? And wow, this is so much better than I thought. This is bigger and better than I thought. Because it's the star. I've also got a queen of pentacles here. So guy or girl doesn't matter. But we've got some success here. We've got also you being confident in knowing your worth. And knowing that what you're not receiving now, you are accepting that. And so for you to decide to turn your back and walk away, know it, it shifts the energy because you are standing in your power, knowing your worth, knowing that you deserve better. And you're making that effort. You're making that choice. You're making that decision. You're taking that step and you're turning your back towards, you're turning your back from what is not working and you're stepping towards you knowing your worth and that shifts the energy. And it brings in exactly what it is that you want because now you know and on the inside everything is energy guys everything is energy and energy is everything so when we make that choice and we realize our worth and when we decide that we're worth more and we make the choice this shifts the energy and it shifts your experiences and it shifts what you uh, attract and it shifts the experiences that you end up having because everything is energy and everything is energy and energy is everything. When we make that choice, we're working with our energy and we shift that energy. Therefore, everything outside of us, that energy that we're bringing in and the experiences that we're getting ready to have, those it all shifts because of that choice that you made. But when you're choosing to stay in what's not working, you're saying, I don't deserve better. So that energy is going to show you that you don't deserve better. And then you make that shift. You make that decision. You turn your back. You stop feeding what isn't working. You stop feeding that energy to what is not working. It changes the energy around you. It changes what happens in your life. It changes the people that come into your life. It changes the uh, experiences that you have in your life. And it creates this beautiful abundance in all areas of your life. When you choose, when you, when you realize that you deserve better and then you make that decision to accept better and stop accepting less, it shifts everything and it brings abundance into your life in all areas of your life. That's why the cards show the energy and the energy can resonate differently for different people. It can energy, it can resonate as energy in love or money or other experiences in your life because it's energy. Energy is everything and everything is energy. And us making the choice to accept better shifts the energy shifts our experiences so in Sagittarius season I see you going after your son I see you going after your happiness I see you putting a stop to accepting less shifting the energy around you and shifting it into overdrive of happiness contentment bliss gratitude because everything is working out so much better than you thought Everything is working out so much better than you could even imagine for yourself because you took the steps 
to shift the energy because you change the way that you look at yourself. You realize that I deserve my happiness. I deserve my wish fulfillment. I deserve better than what I'm getting. And you shift the energy. So I'm going to leave your message here. Sagittarius season creates happiness for you. Creates your yes. Your big fat yes. Shift the energy, my friends, and then comment below and tell me what happens for you in Sagittarius season because I am going to want to know what you shifted out of and what you're shifting into. I want to know. Definitely comment below and let me know and look forward to your big fat yes for Sagittarius season all because you, you changed your energy.